Hello everyone, Flandre here. Today we are going to build a blank fire cannon for the OT-64. If you've seen my previous video, you know that I have recently acquired this particular vehicle so that I can essentially use it for uh, new content on the channel, but also for like milsome games. And one of the things I wanted it to be able to do is to shoot blanks from the cannon. So today, I'm going to go over exactly what I'm going to do to make this work, what kind of firearm I'm going to use to shoot the blanks from, and the whole process to actually getting this functioning properly so that we can have basically a semi-automatic cannon shooting blanks at participants. As you may have already noticed, I already have a cannon in place, and that is because I'm recording this after I actually finished it, but I've already recorded the entire process to actually building this thing, so let's get into it. So the first thing we need here is an actual gun to fire our blanks out of. And I decided that something 12 gauge would be perfect, as a 12 gauge is about 18.5 millimeters in terms of diameter, which is just a little bit larger than the 14.5 millimeters that the original cannon was. Of course, 12 gauge shell doesn't have nearly as much powder. However, because we're shooting blanks and not live ammunition, we can actually load a lot more powder into a blank shotgun shell than we can typically load when one's fully loaded with like your wad and shot and everything else. We can also reload these really quickly and easily. We can kind of combine different type of powders to make different kind of effects. And that is why essentially I decided that 12 gauge would be the perfect round to do the blanks with. But that also meant that I needed something that was semi-auto. I needed something that was gas operated so that I could adjust the gas as needed for the blanks. I needed something that was magazine fed and easy to reload. And I needed something that was fairly cheap as I was probably going to modify it. I didn't want to do that to something that was expensive. This was just going to be something that would sit inside of a mount that it wasn't designed for, modify it as needed, and it, all it would do is shoot blanks. His entire life, its only purpose is to shoot blanks. So something like reliability wasn't really a factor to me. I don't really know how reliable these particular shotguns are, but it doesn't really matter as blanks are very soft on the action of these type of firearms. And we can control how much pressure goes into the system if we need to. And what essentially I picked up here is these are Chinese 12 gauge semi-automatic AK shotguns. Uh, I had never really looked at these before. Shotguns have never been something that's interested me at all. So especially something that is co as commercial as this. This is a purely commercial shotgun. This has never been used or made in any type of way or form for military use, which has never been something that really interested me. But when I remembered about these, I was thinking, man, this would be perfect because they're cheap. And I was able to pick this up for like 400 bucks, remove the stock and pistol grip as we're going to be modifying that rear end to kind of mount into the O. T64 uh, gun turret mount and uh, I think this should work perfect for our needs. Okay so now we need our actual cannon mount itself. So this here is our shotgun. I've gone ahead and placed just this pipe fitting right now just here. We'll talk about that in a minute but we can see here our shotgun and we need a barrel that's much longer. So what I have here is about a five foot long I believe uh, pipe section and we are going to be pushing that through the turret itself and that's going to essentially be a, a shroud over our actual barrel itself. Now of course as we know the shotgun here only has an 18 inch barrel or I believe an 18.5 inch barrel however the only real barrel that we're going to have exposed out of the turret itself is probably going to be about this much. So we are actually going to have to extend this barrel out so that it can actually extend all the way out of the cannon shroud here so that we can pipe all of those gases from our blanks being shot out of the front of the cannon. To do that, I'm going to weld this section on here. This is a 3 4 inch uh, pipe section that goes to a 1 inch thread here. I could probably thread this barrel here for a 3 4 inch and actually thread this 3 4 inch adapter onto it if I wanted to, but I don't feel like doing that. I don't have a threader that's for these particular pipe threads. I don't know how well it'll cut into the barrel itself. So I'm just gonna kind of slide this over and it's just gonna be welded into place because I don't really care. This was like a cheap ass commercial gun that doesn't really matter to me. And this entire life is gonna be spent alive inside of a turret shooting blanks. 
So this here is an example of the one inch. Uh, this here is a one inch th pipe here. And I have some couplers here as I'm gonna play around with those and lengths and everything. But I do have a, uh, I believe a 70 or 80 inch uh, pipe section that is actually going to feed all the way through this shroud section. So this is essentially gonna go inside like this and it's gonna go all the way through the end. And we're gonna have this adapted on the end so that we can actually uh, get this, uh, the actual barrel itself kind of sitting into this out face here. And we should be able to use that to get our flash and everything else. So that's that. Okay, so as you can see here, we have our long pipe uh, I kind of put it into the turret itself already uh, just to kind of get an idea as to like how it's going to sit. So we're likely going to have this barrel come in about probably about around there, I want to say. Uh, it might be further out if I have to, if I use the adapter, depending on how long I need to get this section here out. So the shotgun is going to be placed on the inside of that turret and it's going to essentially thread into this rear section here and then this is going to be encased by our shroud and then this right here will clamp whoop, and then this right here will kind of clamp that shroud down and it'll keep both pieces in place i'm going to take the finish off the barrel here super easy i've just been using the scrubber here and then going like that and the finish comes right off because it's shitty Chinese blue. Okay, my dudes, we're inside the turret of the OT64. It's a little bit cramped in here. I maybe should have used a GoPro for this. So he get a wider angle on everything. <clears throat> but as you can see here, this is the mount. And we need to mount the shotgun into that. So there is right here, like a hole here that I could feed a magazine through if I were to sit the shotgun upright, which I can probably do in here. It is very hot in here. Okay, it was so fucking dark in here, I had to go and get a light. So you can now see how the shotgun here is mounted. So I have the magazine well here situated in such a way where there's a hole right here on the mount. And I'm just lining that magazine well with that hole there. What I can do is probably drill the receiver here and mount it somewhere. In fact, it looks like there's a hole here I can use already. So considering there's a hole already right there, I could put a screw through there or a bolt through there. And then actually that might line up. Interesting. I think that lines up with the pistol grip uh, hole there already. So I might not even have to cut this thing at all. Neat. Okay, that's cool. I can just put a bolt through there with some washers and pull through there and then bolt it up on the bottom and it should be in place on the rear. Front is simple enough. It's got these rails system here. I can find a way to bolt on the here or through that hole. Easy peasy, a little squeezy. And then I can adjust the actual height of it up there, depending on how I move my screws up and down. So, I can set that like that. And I don't really have to worry about things like recoil because this thing is, once again, going to be shooting blanks, and blanks don't have any recoil. Okay, so we're on the top now, and we can see the two threaded one-inch sections here. So, this here is our coupler. 
pipe coupler for the one inch. And we can more or less just screw that on to this end. And then I'll screw it on. And then I'll screw it onto the shotgun right here. A little difficult to do on camera here. But you get the idea. I'll just get that on and be with that. Okay, so I don't have them all the way screwed on yet, but they're hand tight right now. So I can at least use that to kind of start getting an idea as to fitting the actual shroud over it. So we kind of want to get the shroud to encase this entire one inch barrel section or pipe essentially so that it can look cool instead of looking like the longest shotgun in the world. Okay, that's lining up pretty good right there right now. Try and get that all the way over. I did I have to right here, kind of cut this down so that this could actually latch over it because the two inch was a little bit too big. Okay, that should be good. Now I'll push this in a little bit. In fact, I think that's a little too long, which is the opposite problem that I thought I'd have. So, I might have to cut that. Yeah, that's definitely too long. Once I cut that though, it should look pretty good. I might change the color though. Might try and make it gray, or maybe try and match the same color as the OT64 and paint it green. Okay, should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's get a bolt through the top here. Through the uh, pistol grip hole there. And then through that hole right there. Just like that. Well, it's a little bit long, but I can cut it. Got a wing nut on there. Let's go. Oh yeah. I keep this in place. Hell, I probably don't even need a front one. I think that's going to keep this whole thing solid. Man, that shotgun is not moving. That's perfect. Wow, damn. That's all I need to do. So conveniently on this mount here, there is a pulley system right here that rigs into this. And it goes to this handle right here. So you pull this handle, and you'll see up here, pulls that cable. So I figure I can rig that cable up into the trigger and pull it using that. Oh no, I cut the barrel of my 88 inch shotgun. Ooh. No tax stamp here, boys. Everything's secured in place. It's time to test fire. Yeehaw, boys. Let's go. Okay, time to test fire. We are going to start off with uh, 100 grain uh, blank shells here using synthetic black powder. Fire in the hole.
Oh yeah, dude, that thing fucks. 150 grand, man, I gotta turn the gas setting down. Definitely was uh, throwing that bolt carrier way back there. I could see it just slamming on the back of the trunnion. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we go. Produces a lot of smoke. I suppose if I were to try different types of powder, might be able to come up with something that produces more flash. I would have to experiment with that. I'm not really a reloader, so I'm not really familiar with that type of stuff, but maybe some of you are and can let me know. And that, my dudes, is how I have made this thing into a blank fire shooting machine. I hope that you all found this enjoyable. So, as always, have a good one. Myšlenka na vlastní smrt mi nevadí O smrti mých blízkých tohle však neplatí Jsem slupec, nechci o tebe přijít Má jako mi přitaká Životy cizí jsou pro nás o nulové hodnotě Slova plná nenávisti jsou stejně dneska v módě Přesto všechno žijeme v lásce Přední je světový mír Jak pokrytecký je vesmír Na druhém konci světa něčí život vyhace Jenom pro něj někdo zbývá z bolestí ve hlase Vejnám se zprůputí tu co mu v srdci dřím a nůž od krvem v ruce dřímá Nenávist k nám chová nejspíš právě život sám Své hodnoty a ego do tvých promítám Písně měž si tvou smrt a kde ti pomstu přísahám Příliš snadno přes internet vysílám Nenávist k nám chová nejspíš právě život sám Své přání umřít nerozvážně hlasám Spatra se na svůj prázdný život dívám Nenávist k nám chová nejspíš právě život sám Život mi smysl dávat už přesal A tak stavím svou lenost, kde lepí je dostal Smysl existence se marně hledám Vědoma si marnivosti, proč se dal tam Ani chladné slovo jako samota Nevystihuje bolest mém srdci jen mě hodá Pouze zatrasilost má na dymnou moc Trávím prázdné postele, zaspe se snů noc Jako bych byla včera dítě v duši Bez mě dospěl, zpevně drží v náručí Roky mizí pod prstem za pár chvilek kolestí V samotě uhnil a nikdo to nezjistí Mít tak tělo, co nepozná bolest ani smrt Žít na věky, nerozdratit kostí, nepádrať S ním, i když vtím, že jsem plázen, mi potrať Kdyby měla zemří, nevadilo by mi to pranic Přesto tvrdí, že mě to chceš a že tu mám zůstat víc Všechny moje pocity se vzájemně protiřečí Nekřič, vztek nic nevyřeší Dělej správné věci a vždycky dbej na svůj ideál Jestli nechceš umřít, tak se pořádně snaž a žij dál Stejně budu boudit mlák, sama se utopím V slzách s ní se tvůj smích už zamrzá Nenávist k nám chová nejspíš právě život sám Význam slova štěstí do posud neznám Za vše může dětství, na něž ještě dnes vzpomínám Stále svou smutnou minulost proklínám Nenávist k nám chová nejspíš právě život sám Slovo s Bohem s oblebou používám Pravý rozchod tušení nemám Nenávist k nám chovánej spíš právě život sám Štěstí je učení Lásku i přátelství Peníze ti vše na světě zaplatí Snych, co jsou mi k smíchu Zpeví mě strastí Smrt přijde kdykoliv, nevíš neči hodiny Všechno vyjde v ní, več moje snahy i činy I ráno, i v noci, na jeře, na podzim Každou vteřinu někdo zemře, smrt se nespozdí Nechci sny, či si řek a už o nic nestojím Když půjdeš po mém oku, protože ty si mi vším Ach tak, víš vlastně, to je to, o čem chci pět svoje básně Nenávist k nám chová právě život sám Vždyť budoucnost našich už přece dávno znám Mě i tebe smrt odvede Jak padla listí u ní je mená, že sud čeká Přesto všechno žijeme svůj život s hlavou vztyčenou Bojujeme než naše plíce naposlad vydechnou Vraždíme, trpíme, pas míchem zakryjeme Žijeme